Hello everyone. As they say in Germany, Guten Tag. Here we are again, Robin the Sudoku Guy, with yet another tutorial. This is tutorial number 63. Now my last tutorial, we did the X-Wing, where we showed you how to spot it, and the logic behind it, and uh, what to do when you have found it. I'm going to do the same again, but this time, have a look at this. We did the X-Wing using rows to remove small numbers in columns. This time I'm going to be doing X-Wing using columns to remove small numbers in rows. Now before I get started, let me just say that there's a lot of new people joining up on my site from all over the world. Welcome up for, 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 to those people. And I just wanted to let you know, although this is a difficult puzzle, it is a puzzle where you can learn a lot. And in the very beginning, I do what I call lay a foundation before we go on to the X-Wing. So if you would like to uh, watch the first part, that would be great. If you don't want to watch the first part, you'll see the part where I start the X-Wing underneath this video. So without further ado, let's go. The first thing I do when I look at a puzzle is that we're going to lay the foundation by doing TMB, top, top, middle, bottom, using horizontal blocks, LCR using le vertical blocks, left, center, right. Then I use cross meet technique. Then we go to looking for rows, columns, and blocks with four or five cells left empty. That's what I call laying a foundation. So here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Let's take the one. Is there a number in these three blocks that occurs in two out of the three blocks? Yes, there is. It's a one. One there and one there. The middle, bottom has to be up on the top here. Uh -oh, look down here. We have a one. So it has to go as a big one there. Now, what's the ramification of that? Here we have a one here. We have a one down in here. So we'll have a one, small ones in there in two spots. Good. Let's go to twos now. Two, we have a bottom, a top, a middle. It could be there or there, but there's a two there. So this becomes a big two. What's the ramification of that? The two, right, center, left. We can have a two here, possibility, and a possible two there. We put it in two cells within a row, column, or block. Okay, threes. We have two threes, a top, a middle, and this block, it has to be in the bottom, so we can have a three here and a three there. And can see, look any, any, anywhere else? No. Fours. Bottom, middle, could be there or there. But if you look down, you see a four here, so it can't be there. It has to be there. So I'll put the four in there. Now let's look at the ramifications. So easy to miss ramifications. Right, center, in this block it doesn't have to, a four, it has to be on the left. And we can put two little fours in, one there and one there. Good. Fives, no fives. Sixes, no sixes. Sevens, no sevens. Eights, there's only one eight. No nines. Now we go to these three blocks. We have a top, we have a bottom. The, this block doesn't have a seven, it could be there or there, but we can't put one there because there's a seven there. So this becomes the big seven. And right, left, center, we have two sevens, one can go there and one can go there. That's, now, that's all for those three blocks. Now let's go to these three blocks. Which number is repeated? Let me see now. Uh, yes, a six, a bottom, a middle, has to be over here on the top. I look up to see if there's any sixes. No, we can have two little sixes. There we go. Okay. Um, it's all down there. Let's let it come down this way now. Vertical blocks. Whew. One, two, three, four, five. There's not one number that's in two out of the three blocks. So we go to this set of blocks. There we have a... Two sixes. We have a six here on the left, six in the center. Up here we can put in a six there, and we can put a six in here. Great. Any others there? Eight, eight, nine, two, nine, nine. That's the order we can find in that lot, I think. Uh, let's go across here now. We have uh, 
What is there a number that's repeated? Oh, yeah. There's a three. I just noticed I must have brushed that three. That's a three, folks. Left, center. We have to have a three on the right in this block. And whoopee, we've got a matching pair. As you know, I love matching pairs. Now, let's see. Anything else there that's repeated in two out of the three blocks? One was... No, I think that's all. Now we're going to do the cross meet system, which is the most popular lesson in my whole site of over a hundred videos. Uh, it's I think it's lesson seven. I'll have this underneath the, the video, all the different lessons and techniques that I use for this puzzle. Um, now, let's take ones. We'll go from one to nine. This block here doesn't have a one. So that one has a one, and this block has a one. So if we cross this one in here and cross this one down in here, we have two spots for a one. Because we have two spots in that block, we put them in. Okay, any, any other ones? Let me see. Here's a one and here's a one. This block doesn't have a one. Bring this one down. Bring that one across. You'll have a one, two, three spots. Too many. We're looking just for two spots to put it. Okay, I think that's all the ones. Twos. Here's a two here. There's a two there, we can, there's no two in here, so cross this one across here and bring this one down in here. You're left with one, two, three twos. Too many. Get the pun. Okay, now I look at this one. We've got a two here and a two there for this block. Uh, there's going to be, oh, one, two, three. Three, three numbers again. Three blocks, three cells are empty again. No, we just want to look for two cells where it can go. I think that's all we can do for the twos. Let's look at the threes now. Uh, threes up in here are all done. Well, here's a three down in here. Uh, that's a three, by the way. Uh, and a three up here. We can cross those, meet them down in this block. This three blocks takes away those two. This three takes away this one. Uh, that gives us one, one, two, three. Too many, too many, too many. Okay, pushing right along. Any other threes we can use? Now, fours. Uh, if I take uh, this four here, no, that doesn't help. This fours are all up there. Let's take this four and go down this way, and take this four and go this way. In this block here, it doesn't have a four. We have two fours. One can go there and one can go there. Great. Um, let's go now to any other fours. Yeah, there's another four. We could go across here. For this block here, we could come down here. We'll have one, two, three. Two, two, too many, too many spots. Actually, too, yeah, too many spots. Okay, fives. There's only one five. We can't do any cross meet with five. Okay. Uh, is there another forward? Okay. Five, six, sixes. Sixes. Can we do it? Well, here's a block that doesn't have a six. Here's a block that has a... Here's a this block does a six. Go across here with that six. Go up here. You've got one, two, three empty cells. No, no luck. Not having a lot of luck here. Sixes over here. What are any other sixes? Fine. Let's go now to uh, sevens. There's only sevens in the middle here. Oh, there's a seven down here. We can cross this seven with that seven. Okay, and that gives us one, two, three spots. Too many. Eights. Let's have a look at the eight. We have several eights. This block here doesn't have an eight. And this block has an eight. We can cross, put that eight up there. And at that eight across there, that gives us one, two, three. Too many shelves. Um, here's an eight, and here's an eight. This block doesn't have an eight. We can go across here. To this block in here, cross here and then up here. Oh yes, that gives us two eights. One eight can go here and one eight can go there. That's pretty rare to see that. That's, that's going to be handy down the road, I hope. Okay, just pushing on. Nine, any other eights? Let me check. Well, here's a block that doesn't have an eight. Go across here, go down here, uh, cross here, go down here. We have one, two, three. It doesn't work. Any other eights that we could try? Here's an eight over here. And go across here. We could have an eight here. 
Oh, that's not a very good eight, is it? Oh, make this an eight, and this, and this is, can be an eight. Okay, maybe that'll help us. Nines. Guess what, folks? There's no nines. Well, yes, there is one, but that we need more than one to do the cross meet system. Now we get to the stage where I'm looking for a row, column, or block that's only got, say, four empty cells. And I'm going to choose this particular one, this one here, because there's four empty cells there. Now, if you are a beginner, you may wish to write down the numbers over here on the, on the right, but if you're an experienced number, one of the great th experienced player, one of the great features of Sudoku is it helps the memory. Here's a chance to do it. What are the numbers in here that are missing? Well, we've got a 1, 2, 3, 4. It has to be a 5, uh, a 6, uh, a 7, and a 9. 5, 6, 7, and 9. I've got to keep that in my head. If you can't do that, write them out on the side here. Let's now take each one of these cells to see if we can find a cell where only two of those numbers can go in. That's what we're looking for. Uh, this one here could be five, six, looking down here, five, six, seven, and nine, four, no, five, six, seven, nine, four, oh, man, too many. We are under, we just want two numbers. Here we have a five, six, and uh, there's a seven here, so that's a nine, and this is a seven, so that's a five, six, nine. Okay, I'm not going to put it in because it's too many. What about this one? Five, six, seven, nine. Well, here's a six and there's a seven. So five can go. Six can't go. Seven can go. There she comes a five, nine. We finally found a cell where we can just put two numbers that can go there. And here we have a five, looking down here, five, six, seven, and nine. All of them, too many. So we didn't have we weren't didn't have much success there because um because we only got one cell with two little numbers in it. Now we come to the next step, and this is an important step. Have a look. Look for a small number in a column which only occurs twice and which is located in two separate blocks. I'll repeat that. You're looking for a small number in a column which only occurs twice and which occurs and is located in two separate blocks. Well, if you look at this, uh, this is the, this is the um, column I'm going to use if, for demonstration purposes. Now, because this is a teaching, teaching session, I'm going to put the numbers that are missing in here. There are one, two, three, four, five missing. Well, we, let me see now, what are they? We have a, a 5 missing. A 5. Uh, a 6 is missing. Um, let me just re redo that a bit. I'll just try this again. We have a 5, a 5, 6, a 7, an 8, and a nine. They're the numbers that are missing. There's five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, here we come to the most important next step. There are two ways of finding those two numbers. It's, 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 going, to be, it's going to be repeated twice in two different uh, blocks. There's two ways of doing it, uh, and I'm going to show you both ways. Because if you have a computer, uh, that gives you all the possible numbers, which has got its pros and cons. Uh, you can look, find this, but I'm going to show you another way. Here we go. Here we, we take the five. Can a five go there? No. Yes, it can. A five can go there. Can a five go there? Yes, it can. Can a five go there? Yes, it can. Can a 5 go there or there? No, it can't because there's a 5 already in that block. The 5 occurred three times, too many times. We're looking for it to come up twice only. Let's go to 6. Can a 6 go there? Yes. Can a 6 go here? No, because of that 6. 
Can a six go there? Yes. Can a six go there? Yes. Can a six go down there? No, because there's a six already here. How many times did it come up now? One, two, three times. Too many times. Okay, let's take the seven. Can a seven go there? Yes. Can a seven go there? No, it can't because that seven is already spoken for in that block. So it can't go there either. It can't go there because of that seven as well. Can it go there? No, it can't because there's a seven here. Can it go there? Yes, it can. Well, it only went in two spaces, two cells. Well, I'm going to write them down. We have discovered a number that can go in only two cells in that column. That's a possibility of an X-wing. We don't know yet. Let's continue on with the 8. Uh, the 8 can't go there, because that 8. The 8 can go there. It can't go there because of this 8. It could go there, but it can't go there because this 8. So let's guess what? It appeared twice as well. So I'll put that 8 in here as well. Okay. We come across two numbers that are in that column that only appear twice and that uh, are in separate blocks. Now, let's go to uh, the 9. 9 could go, look at this, a 9 could go there, a 9 could go there, a 9 can go there, a 9 can go there, and a 9 can go, it can go in every cell. So, that's not going to qualify. Now, this is the, this is, I told you that I'm going to show you another way of finding out those numbers. Now, if you are a person who likes to use a book with puzzles, paper, or newspaper or magazine, you'll need to do it by manually, by hand. So I'm going to show you how to do that very quickly. Uh, if I look at this cell here, uh, there's a five. We said a five could go there. We said a five could go there. We said a six could go there. We can't have an eight, but we could have a nine. There's four little numbers that could go in there. Here we can't. Here we have a five, uh, and a, can't have a six, can't have a seven but we could have a 9, so we have a 5, 8, 9 in there. This system can be messy, but it's another way of discovering those, the, what we're looking for. This one is, can be a 5, and it can be a 6. It can't be an 8, because an 8 there, but it can be a 9. This one here can be a, can't be a 5, because of that 5. Can be a 6, yep. Can be, can't be a 7 because of that 7. It can be an 8, and it could be a 9. And down in here we have, a, a could be, can't be a 5, can't be a 6, it's already a 7, can't be an 8, so it could be a 7, 9. Now that's a, low, slow, a bit of a slow way of doing it, but it's another way of discovering a number that's there only twice, a little number that is. If you look at this very carefully, here's a 7, there's a 7, just like we had before. Here's an 8, and here's an 8, just like we had before. So that's another way of searching for what uh, we need for an X-Wing. Now both those numbers are a possibility of an X-Wing. We don't know for sure, and this is how we find out for sure. Have a look at this. We're going to look along the rows to find a similar pattern using the same small numbers such that it makes a rectangle. Let me repeat that. Look along the rows to find a similar pattern using the same small numbers such that it makes a rectangle. I'm going to do the 8 first. Now, here's a row for the 8. Here's the row for the 8. Let me see now. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go along these two rows to see if we can get this same pattern in a column. Now, you can't do it there because there's a 1 in the way. We can't do it there because the 7's in the way. We can't do it there because we can have an 8 there, but we can, well, there's an 8 down here. We can't do it there for two reasons. We can't do it there. I'm sorry, I'm going, I've got to go along here. I was in the wrong spot. Here, here, we can't do it there because of that. Because, can't do it here because there's an 8 in that block. 
can't do it there because of an 18-in-that block. We can't put it there because of an 18-in-that block. We could possibly put an 8 down in here, but uh, put, 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 we could put possibly an 8 there. But we can't put an 8 there because of this 8, so that didn't work. We could put an 8 here maybe, but we can't put an 8 here because there's an 8 in that block. So the 8 does not qualify for an X-wing because we could not find a pattern where the 8-8 eight, eight would appear in these two rows in a column. Now we go to the 7s. Now I'm going to do a little trick here. I can tell you right now the 7s are going to work but let me show you how you can do it. Now, there's two ways of doing it. You can have the whole puzzle and press a button and put all the little numbers in and you'll discover it. Or you can do it this way. Okay. Let's take, we're going to take this row and this row and we're going to follow along these two rows to see if we can get the same pattern in a column. Seven, seven in a column. Here we go. We can't have it there because we could have a 7 down in here. Okay, let me just put it in. We could have a 7 here. I'm, I'm going to do this deliberately. You'll see why later. We could have a 7 there, but we can't have a 7 there. We can't have a 7 here. We can't have a 7 there because there's a 4 in the way. We can't have a 7 here because there's an 8 in the way, but we can't have a 7 there. It's already there. We, can't have, we could have a, can't have a 7 here because there's a 7 and a 7 there. Uh, we can't have a seven up in here because this seven means it covers the whole, the whole column. Here we could have a seven, and can't have a seven there. Can't have it because of that seven. Can't have a seven because of that seven and that seven. Can't have a seven there because of that seven. We can't have a seven here because of that seven, but we can have a seven here for that. We have found it in two spaces making a rectangle with that other seven, and that means we found an X-wing. Now, going on just very quickly to, to, for demonstration purposes, because as I'm using this as a teaching tool, uh, we could have a seven there, but you can't have a seven there. You can't have a seven there because of that seven. So, we have discovered our X-wing, and we say goodbye to the red pen, because from now on, we're using this pen. I'm going to circle the numbers of the X-Wing. We call them the corners of the X-Wing. This is a corner. This is a corner. And this is a corner. And this is a corner. You see, it makes up a rectangle. Now, you may ask the question, why is it called a rectangle? Why is it called an X-Wing? Let me show you. You'll have to excuse my back. I'm going to draw a line to show you what I mean. I'm going to take this seven here and that seven there and go whew. Okay, I'm going to take this seven here and that seven here and go go whoo. There's your X. That's where we call it the X-wing. Now why would do why is it important? These lines are what we call diagonals. Now here comes the logic of, a, of an X-wing. It's fantastic. If we don't know which one of these is going to be a 7. But I can tell you that two of them will be. Let me show you. If this just, we don't know, but let's say this became a big 7. That means that this cannot be a 7, that cannot be a 7, and this, because it's in the same row, and this cannot be a 7, because there's only two 7s in this column. If that's a 7, this cannot be a 7. However, take if that is a 7, that cannot be a 7 because this is a column that has to be a big 7. So if you have a 7 here, this will become a big 7. Let me show you another example. If Let's say, just for fun, this one became a big 7. Immediately, that 7 cannot be a 7 because there's only 2 to choose from. These 7s can go, but that if that is a big 7, that can't be a big 7. That'll, have, that'll be gone. Which means that that is the only place a big 7 can go. Get the logic there? It's ingenious, and the X-Wings are a tremendous to, a technique, to, a pattern to look for when you get to harder puzzles. 
Having done that now, we're ready to um, see this work. And have a look at this. Once you have solved one of the corners of the X-wing, you can write this down if you wish, the diagonal of the X-wing will be the same number. That is, if you are using a small 7 as the corner number of the X-wing, once it becomes a large 7, then the diagonal small 7 will also become a large 7. In other words, if this is a big 7, that's going to be a big 7. If this is going to be a big 7, that will become a big 7. Now we go to the final step, and this is the step where things start to happen. It gets exciting. Okay, here we go. Have a look at this. Remove similar numbers in the rows, which are not part of the X-wing. Let me repeat. Remove similar numbers in the rows, that is little sevens, which are not part of the X-wing. Let's have a look at this. We can get rid of... Um, we can really get rid of... We'll go to the bottom row here first. This is part of the X-wing. We can get rid of this one. We can get rid of this one. It's not part of the X-wing. Up here we can get rid of this one. It's not part of that X-wing across there. Now, what's the ramification of all that? Watch. This is... And it gets real fun. I really love it when something like this happens. Because this 7 was to be there or there, and one of them is gone, this becomes a big 7. We can get rid of the 3, we can get rid of the 7. Less messy, because it's a teaching, <coughs> teaching tutorial. Now, that 3 was there and there. No longer can that, because the 7 is there, this then becomes the big 3. So we can get rid of this. Six and three, six and an eight, remember them and you go, this becomes a big three. Now there was a six there and a six there. Well, I just rubbed them out, but therefore this becomes a big six. Now remember we had a six and an eight in here as well. Now there's only one eight left to be used and it becomes an eight because we only put it there and there. So now this becomes a big eight. Whoopee, wasn't that incredible? Now because uh, let me see now, this, this 8, another way of proving that is that this 8 coming up through here means it can't be there, it has to be there. Now, what have we got left? Oh, we've only got two cells left and you know from earlier lessons that if you've got two cells left in a row, column or block, it's a matching pair, so this becomes a 5, 9. Wow, what amazing. Isn't that fun when that happens? Let's now let's do a, uh, ramifications. Top, middle, Top, middle, bottom, good. Uh, what was another one? Uh, seven. Uh, no, let's see. Only one seven there. Yep. Uh, eight. Eight. Let's look at the six or six. Six, six, six. That works down here. That's, that's right. Let's look at the eight. Top, middle, bottom. One of these is going to be an eight. There's an eight there. So guess what? That becomes an eight. If that's an eight. Sorry about that. I'm working out of the kitchen today for, because of lighting problems. If that becomes an 8, this is an 8, this will become an 8. And if that's an 8 and this is an 8, this will become an 8. Okay, I'll rub those two out. That becomes an 8. We'll bring make that into an 8. Now remember, if you remember right, and this is another reason why if you put what, a little number in only two cells of a row, column or block, when you get one of them, you know what the other one is. This is going to become A2. Okay. Wow. Now let's look at the ramifications of that. Two, two, two. That's correct. Eight. That eight can go. Uh, this two, two, two. This becomes an eight. Whoopee. We've got an eight in there. Eight goes there. Now... Well, this is amazing. Look at this. Bottom, middle, and here it has to be on the top. It can't go there because of that 8, and it can't go there because of that 8. This becomes an 8, and we have gone right around the puzzle with all the 8s. Isn't that exciting when that happens? Okay, now what do we do? What do we do next? That was fun. Fine, now let's have a look at this 
four. Four, four can't be in there. Remember we've told you before in other le uh, lessons and tutorials, once you have a matching pair, no other little numbers can go there. So the four has to go over here and then come over here, center, left, right. It can't go there because of this four, so this will become a four. And therefore, get it, therefore this becomes a matching six, nine. Okay, well I can see something happening there, and because of that 9 there, we know that's a 9, and there's a 9 here. Uh, no, we have a 9 there, 9 there, no, I think I'll wait a bit. Now let's go on to, uh, oh gosh, did you see this? You probably saw it before I did. You're probably saying, hey Robin, hey Robin, hey Robin, you missed something. That can happen because now things are really starting to happen. Cross this 7, or cross there. Cross this there, bring this seven down here. This becomes a big seven. Whoopee! So we now have a big seven in here. And as soon as I do that, immediately, without second thought, this becomes a big seven. Remember the diagonal becomes a big seven in, a, in, a, in an X-wing? Now what is that? what happens here? Well, this seven can go, can't it? Well, we said it wouldn't be... Wouldn't be the seven there. Now, let's have a look at this. Middle, bottom, top. Top and left, right, center. Great. Let's go across here. Middle, middle, middle. Seven, seven. This becomes a seven. Seven, seven, seven. That's good. Seven, seven, seven. Now, because there's only one cell left in here, and because there was a matching pair here, this becomes a, seven, a five, nine. Any other sevens? Well, that was good. We've pretty well got all the sevens now. Way to go. That seven means that this seven goes, and it'll probably become a one, but we'll, 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 let's see later on. Okay, now, I didn't do the six. Let's do the six. We did the six this way, and I forgot to go this way. Now it's good. Watch this. Here is a 6 using the cross meat system. Go up here. Can't be there. It has to be here. Now we have a 6, 6. This becomes a 6. Remember I said that if this becomes a 7, there can't be a 7 over there, so now it becomes a 6. Let's see what the ramifications of that is. If that's a 6, we can't have the 6 come on this side. It has to come in here somewhere, so we can have a little six there and a little six there. Now, center, left, right. This one here, now we're coming to getting some. This one here has to be a six. So that becomes a six, and this becomes your nine. So we've completed that whole, uh, that whole uh, block now. Now, what's the ramification of all this? Let's have a look. Okay. That six here can go. That nine can go. And we're coming out. Oh, look at this. This is a five. That becomes a five. I wonder what the ramification of that is. Let's have a look. Right, center. This becomes a five. And therefore, this is the only one left. It has to be nine. Oh, man. Things are really booming along now. Uh, now, look at this. Look at this here. We've got another reload with only two left, so that's a five nine, so we have another five nine in here. Now let's look at the ramifications of all these things. Six, 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 yeah, six, six, nine, 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 nine somewhere in here, uh, nine, there's a nine here, so this becomes a nine, mm. no, not necessarily, there's a nine up there, we'll have to wait a bit. Okay, this four, I forgot to do the ramifications of that four. You've probably been yelling at me. This goes, so this becomes a big four. Okay. And ramification of that is that we have a four here on the left and we have a four up here on the right. So it has to be in the center. So we have a four there and a four there. And that'll be handy. And, hmm. Now let me see. Well, this now now we can do is that nine. Look, nine nine nine. Fantastic. That becomes a nine. 
Now one of these and there's going to be a nine up there. Okay, now we have two left in this block. Suddenly, what are the two, what are the two numbers left? We're missing a one for sure, and a three. One and a three. Instead of writing them in, look up. Here's a one, so this has to be a three. And this has to be the one. Now, what's the ramification of that? Well, the three, three has to be in here somewhere. Three, three, three. Keep that in our head. One. Well, we can have a one here, or we can have a one there. Good. I'm just looking around. Now we have, because we have a one there and a one there, this one is gone. Because this one it means that that's gone too. We have two cells left in there. Let's see what they are. Two cells. There's a one, two. There's a two missing. Don't see a two along there. We'll put a two in there and a two in there. Um, five is missing. Two five. Two five. Now I put them both in this time because I didn't see any other numbers that could help us there. But have a look at this. This is, I think, in, comes in uh, to, uh, lesson number 11. A very important rule about matching pairs. If this is a matching pair in this column, it means that no other two or five in this column can be there. We have to remove it, or we can remove it, which means, look at this, this is going to happen, this is going to be fun. We can remove that five because, remember what we said here? That means that this becomes a nine, this becomes a five, this becomes a five, this becomes a nine, well, this is going to go like crazy now. Nine. And this becomes a five. Now let's look at the ramifications, which is easy to forget to do. Top, middle, bottom. Great. And for the nines, five. There's a five in here, so a five has to be in here or here. So we can put that in just to give us a little heads up. Uh, five, 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 five. Okay, nines. Oh, look at this. We have a 9 on the left, a 9 on the right. That means, in, in the center, we need to have a 9 there and a 9 there. Okay, continuing on with the ramification of 9s. Okay, here's a 9 and here's a 9, so this is going to be a 9. There's two cells left in there, and the, two, the other number there, let me see. It's a, it's a 2. Wow, look at that. Look at this. Here's a 2 over here. So this becomes a 9. And therefore, this becomes a 2. Now, what's the ramification of that? Well, first of all, this 9 can go, and this becomes a 4. Okay? And that 4 can go, this becomes a 9. This is where it's so easy to miss things, because so many things are coming up that you could use. It depends on what you see and when. Here we have a top, here we have a bottom. This becomes a 9. Okay? Now we have... And the numbers are 4 and 6. Well, that's great. This 4 means that that becomes a 6. Okay. And that 6, mean, that means that this becomes a 4. In, in the beginning stages, I would put those numbers in, but with this stage, well, keep it in your head. So we have a 4 here in the bottom, a 4 up there, and a 4. This could be a 4, 4, 4, 4, using TMB. That becomes a 4. Now, what's left in here? Oh, this one. There was a one there. So this becomes a one. Oh, I missed doing that ramification, but we found it in the end. Um, what was it? Six. We, we did the six in there. Six, top, middle, bottom. This becomes a six. Now, we have a column here with only two left. We have a row here with only two left. That is going to have to be a two or a two. That's the ramifications of that one. Uh, this, oh, look at this. See this one? If I could go across, doing the cross meet system, if I go across here in this block and come down here, that becomes a one. Now, one, one. This, now, oh, look what's going to happen now. That becomes a one. And this becomes a three. And now we have all kinds of things that can happen. Oh, let, me see now. let me see now the three. The three, the three, the three, okay, fine. Yeah, make sure that H is a bit neater than that. Okay, what are we left? We're left here with 
Oh, here's something. See this column here? It's got two left. And the numbers, because of that one, this one, those. So this becomes a one. Uh, in here we have two left. It's a two and a five. Two and a five. Oh, well, that's easy. There's a five there. So this becomes a two. And no longer that is a two. That becomes a two. And this becomes a five. Now we're left with two numbers in here. What with this this row, this column has only got one left, and it's a three, I think. Yeah, it's a three. And there's only one left in this block now, and it's a one two. Two two two. Just double checking. Two. And we're getting towards the end, but now look what this two and a five did over here. This this two means that this is a five. That's a five. This is a two. We're getting to the end. Let's hope everything goes to work out in the end. Okay, this has only got one number left and it's a three. If that's a three, middle, bottom, top, this becomes a three. Okay. That becomes a five, okay, and now we only have one left in there, and what is it? Well, we have a bottom, we have a middle five, it has to become a five, and folks, we did it. Now, just let me quickly say this. What did we do after laying the foundation? We looked for a column which had uh, to see if we could find little numbers that would appear twice in two separate blocks. Once we found those, we went across the rows to see if we could find the same pattern over here somewhere or somewhere else in a column. We found a seven, in, is it made, made to, make, to make that? And that became our X-wing. We then looked at the logic behind how an X-wing works, which is fantastic. And then we went ahead and did the final step where we removed any numbers in the rows that were any sevens in the rows that were not part of the X wing. Wasn't that great? I hope you learned something, and I can't wait for next uh, for my next tutorial, something new. So bye for now. Take care.